So ladies and gentlemen, to graph this problem, we say y minus x equals 3, and then y equals 1. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph these two. Um, so again, I've got to put them in their form. I want to put them in the form y equals mx plus b. So I have y minus x equals 3. How do you put that in that form? Or how do you get rid of everything in it? You add x to both sides. So you go at y equals 3 plus x. And I rewrite that to y equals x plus 3. Then this one, do I, it's already solved for y. So that's the best I can do. y equals 1. It's already there. So to graph this, what we need to do, again, is determine the y-intercept. So we look at our equation. For this one, let's do this one first. The y-intercept of this one is at 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay? So the y-intercept is at 3. Then we need to determine what is our slope. Well, remember our slope, Mallory, is y equals 1 over 1x one plus 3. Right? We can rewrite that as 1 times x, which would be 1 over 1. So up 1 to the right 1. And then you go up 1 to the right 1. Or you could go down and to the left. And then um, down and to the left. Down and to the left. So you're going to have something that's going to look like that. All right? That's how you graph that line. Now to graph the line y equals 1, do we have a slope? No. We could rewrite this as y equals 0x plus 1, meaning my slope is 0. And hopefully you guys remember when you had a slope of 0, that means you're going to be having a horizontal line. So therefore, you go up at 1, and that means y always equals 1. So it's going to be a horizontal line at y equals 1, because horizontal lines have a slope of 0. Therefore, we look at our um, intersection point is at negative 2, 1. So you say your solution is at negative 2, comma 1. Okay. And I'm happy the people I'm going over this for are mostly texting on their phones or looking at it. It's, it makes sense. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's just practicing. Anytime I write down a number 7, 
or whatever, any number, anytime I write down a number, I could theoretically also always write it like this. Right? But the, why, why would you have, why would you do that? Right? Yeah, it's just extra stuff. Why write the number, why write seven times one when you can always write seven? However, if I wanted to, I could always write seven is equal to one times seven. Same thing with x. I, we don't write one times x, but unless we want to know what is the number in front of x, then it might be help. Then it'd be helpful to write one times x. Does that make more sense? Just note what's one times x. X. So there's no problem in just having one in front of it. All right. Okay. Um, yes. Still recording. Yeah, you're right. That's a little bit.